there is some attraction to villains and uh, what can make a better villain than a cyborg. And these fears that uh, AI will uh, take over uh, and uh, destroy our society, in my opinion, are not founded in reality and should be tempered uh, a little bit. However, if there is a concern that uh, uh, I sympathize with, is the possibility that artificial intelligence, intelligent machines, will take over large segments of the job market and put people out of work. It has happened before, and I think it's happening right now. And I'm gonna use an example that, to me, illustrates both the problem and the solution. And that is the fact that uh, more and more manufacturing plants and warehouses that are placed along the distribution uh, chain and supply chains are using robots. But then think of the other side of this development, which is we will have right now an increasing number of humans engaged in designing these robots, uh, in manufacturing them, in making them, in making the parts that go into a, such a robot. So it is more than uh, anything, I would say, a shift in the type of work that humans do. And to survive through this, which we as human society have been through before, we need to make changes in our educational system, in the way we train and retrain people. And we, as a country, the human society should take this into consideration. And I think there are good signs that it will happen. So yes, machines, intelligent machines, will take over some jobs. Is that a tragedy? I would say no. If we are flexible enough and are willing to reconsider the way we work and find more interesting, there is always out there something fascinating and interesting that uh, humans can do.